Hi again everyone, this is Sheila Smith with Paparazzi Fide Divas Team Training and this training is on posting in yard sale groups on Facebook and some tips to help you uh, make sure that you do not end up in Facebook jail from doing this posting. The first bit of information that I want to share with you is the whatever you are posting, post something different on each post. So as you can see here, as I mentioned in the last video, I have three different examples here of sales posts. You don't want every single post to be exactly the same, or Facebook will consider it spam. And Facebook, even if no one in the group reports you as spam, Facebook and their algorithms will consider you spam and can put you in Facebook jail anywhere from 24 hours to several days, a week, you never know with Facebook. So make every post a little bit different. Add a smiley face. Add a heart. Um, if you add that to one post, take it off of another. But just change up each post a little bit. That's tip number one. Tip number two is don't post in more than 10 or 15 groups per day. If you post in too many groups, again, Facebook algorithms will possibly, not definitely, but possibly tag you as spam and put you in Facebook jail. So just be cautious about how many you post in and maybe spread it out throughout the day. Do five in the morning, five in the afternoon, five at night. Plus that makes it really quick, simple, and easy. And you've posted in 15 yard sale groups across the country. The next tip that I would like to share with you is when you get to a yard sale page, for example, this one where South Phoenix Yard Sale Online, I do not see a pinned post. Usually if there are instructions for the group, there will be a pinned post somewhere at the top of the group, or there will be description information giving you rules. Now, in this particular one, there are pretty much no rules. It's just post whatever you want. There's no rules about what you post, when you post, or anything like that. This next one I'm going to show you. This is, you can see I've left the group because they clearly show in their pinned post at the top of the page. I just glanced over it and it says right here. Do not put anything about your business or you will be deleted, banned. They would probably tag your post as spam. So there's no reason to risk having your account put in Facebook timeout when there are millions of other groups out there to join. So leave the group. That's what I do. I just leave the group and go find more groups to join. Uh, sometimes you can see the group's rules and description before even trying to join, sometimes the groups are secret and you have to wait until you've been added in order to view their rules and what their guidelines are. This next one is another example of, if you look here, they also have a pinned post. Uh, when I clicked on that pinned post, it has a pretty lengthy description of what they allow and don't allow here. But if you just glance over it very quickly, you will see right here that business posts are allowed. So you're all set. In this group you can post and not have to worry about landing in Facebook jail. One more bit of um, just Facebook etiquette and direct sales etiquette. Whenever you get to a group page, scroll down the page and just see. You don't have to scroll far. It doesn't take you more than this few seconds that I've just shown you. Okay, I do not see another post that has been made recently by another consultant, so I'm going to go ahead and make my post. Okay, uh, actually let me change that. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and make my post. Now, if I had seen another paparazzi consultant's post right here, you know, within the last hour, the last 12 hours, within the last day, really, I'm not going to post on top of their post. To me, it's, well, it's just rude. You know, don't post on top of someone else's post. 
we don't have any regions or any certain areas that we can or cannot post in. So just, you know, respect that the other person got there before you this week and post there next week or post there next month. Um, also, if you post uh, or you see someone else that has posted their ad in a yard sale group that is local to where you live, there's no reason to get angry or upset over that. Simply make your post a little different so that it lets the people know that you're local. You can come to their house and do a party with them. You can meet them instead of charging them a shipping fee. Or they could come over to your home and shop from your inventory directly or see you at an event. These are all things that you can do instead of getting upset over who posts where. So these are just some tips, some information to help keep you out of Facebook jail, and also just to, uh, you know, we can all get along out on Facebook because there are billions of people and tons of customers that have never even heard of paparazzi yet in all areas of the country. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this video was helpful. Thanks. Bye-bye.